Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. We are upstairs getting ready for the day. Usually I'm up way before the kids. I've made videos of the it before. But today, yeah, I slept in because it was a wild weekend. It was a wild, wild weekend. Might not have looked like it from our videos, but let me tell you, when you add a bird, a horse show, and two extra little people, it gets crazy. Anyway, we're upstairs getting ready. Good morning guys. Um, Sophie has been sporting the curly look the last couple of days and people have been saying that they like her curls. Um, so I'm going to try and embrace the curls for a couple of days. You want to try it? What's that? Like let your hair be curly instead of trying to straighten it all out and make it be frizzy. Okay, so no bath? <laughs> no brushing. Ooh. It's going to grab the top of your head. Yeah, no, well, we will brush it but we'll use a special comb so it doesn't really brush it. You'll probably like it better. Um, another question I have for you guys is what do you do when your mom is so busy that she hasn't washed your favorite breeches and you're going to the barn and you wake up and you still have your pajama pants on because you have no breeches? Do you get not your favorite pair out or do you wait for your mom to find you your favorite pair? Well, I have three favorites. And they're all in the laundry. My tan ones I use for the show. My gray ones that are the same brand as my tan ones, and my no blow for the gray ones. Sure. Yeah, and they're all in the laundry, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so what are we going to do? Jump through <laughs> What are we going to do about your breeches? Oh, you're going to go downstairs. <laughs> you're hoping I'm going to go downstairs and find no you a pair? No, better ones because it's been in there longer. Oh, okay, so maybe there are some in the dryer. I'm taking no risks and wearing my tan breeches. You're taking what? No risks. And wearing my tan breeches. She's taking no risks in wearing her tan breeches. What does that mean, no risks? Mm, I'm getting dirty. Oh, I yeah. Get everything dirty. Yeah. Anyway, so I was getting ready in the bathroom here, and this is what's happening. Right, so all we did, we ended up brushing it because it was a nightmare. And oh, then wow, it turned it's curly. fuzzy like it normally does. So then we wet it. And that's what I used to do with my she boy's smells hair. Like wet horse. She smells like wet horse. <laughs> um she had a bath last night. She smells like wet hair. Anyways, so one thing you guys might not know about my kids is that they all have curly hair. Like if Sophia's hair was not so long not and heavy then it would be like an afro. My boys have like afro curly hair. And um, yeah, so you can't tell. I just have a bit of wavy hair. Yeah, it's because it's so it's long. It's really wavy. And yeah. I'm not cutting it. So when they were born, they were both born. I was born with a lot of hair. So yeah. I lost all of it. Yeah, no, she did not lose all of it. Um, Basically, it's true. They were both born with a head full of hair. I'll put a picture here if I can find one. Oh, well, oh, you were big yeah, and Sophie and Gabby was average. I still couldn't tell. I don't know. I've read The Horse Diaries because I'm loving That's Black my book. Cloud. You're loving Black Cloud? Yeah, because I know that wolves attacked him. Aw. But he, he lives. still lives. Oh, Here, God. I'll show you. And then all Shh, don't of tell. That's called spoiling. Died. Oh, this that's book. so terrible. And this is him? Yes. Aww. He all the blood. Anyway, Sophie's loving this book. This is a book that she reads at night. Girls oh, read a book at night. that that is. Federal and Stella. Oh, I don't know. That looks the same as Stella. Uh, we I weighed know. Stella recently, and I haven't put it in a vlog yet. I'm uh, going to do that, though. Maybe I should save it until she's, like, skinny. But anyway, yeah, we weighed her. I know how much she weighs. I know how much our mare weighs. I know how much Storm weighs. Yeah, comment below what you guys think they weigh. Comment down below. If you have lost weight and none of your clothes fit. Because these pants are way too big. Yeah, so if he's going to need a belt on today, huh? Yes. Yeah, um, she has both grown taller and exercised so much that her body's changing, huh? Yeah. I want it to do that dramatic thing. Just wait. Where's the end of it? Hello, Levi. Hello. 
So uh, Levi is waiting by the door because he is excited to get out. Dance, dance, Levi. Dance, 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 dance. Dance, Levi. Dance, 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 dance. Yeah, good boy. Dance, 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 dance. Go to your dear water. Step up. Oh no, that's unstable. Good boy. Good boy. Good morning, Levi. Dance, Levi. Yeah, good boy. You should get a treat every single time. Dance. It is officially fall, you guys. We fall, the first day of fall, I think, was on Saturday, and it is cool outside. We are headed out. All of us, um, we are headed out. Can you guys guess where we're going? Tricked ya! We're going to the library. And so, the barn, too. Yeah, and the barn, too. Some of you guys don't know, but um, we, last year during homeschool, we went to the library every single week, and this year we're doing, uh, Thursday. Um, uh, we're writing a story based on fact, so we have to go to the library and get some facts, right? Okay, uh, Gabby just said, it is so cold outside, and it's extra cold for me because, because she has wet pants on, so... <laughs> When you watch your favorite pants and they come straight out of the washing machine and then yeah, you go out and fall with They've wet pants. They've been in the washing machine for a week. <laughs> you no, know, I do laundry every single day except for... Well, they've been for, there since, since Friday, Friday night. Yeah, since Friday night. So yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> I had to rewash the load because yeah, that happened. But that's what happens when you add... Okay, I can handle a bird and still maintain life. But a bird and two small children all together on a weekend and a horse show, you guys, come on, it was so much work. But I was up for it, I love the work. It's just that I couldn't do the laundry. <laughs> it's true, she loves to clean. Yeah, it's true, I love to clean. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. So it's true. I love to clean. Sophie was to spend last night watching old videos of ours. You guys comment below. What is your favorite old video of ours? Anyway, Sophie said, I watched a video last night where I said that I love to clean. Like she said that she loves to clean. Is this still true, Sophie? No, I never said that I love to clean. You said it. Oh, I said that Sophie loves to clean. And what? I hate cleaning. <laughs> She did though. When she was little, she used to keep like Clorox wipes beside her bed so she could wash everything down in her room because oh, she, and she, she loved it. She washed mom's cut with salt. And <laughs> yeah. She used to get like all the sprays in her house, like like a furniture polish and vinegar spray for the windows and wash my cuts on my legs and with gloss because yeah, she used to love to clean, but yeah, she doesn't anymore. <laughs> great when your kids know where all the books are. I guess we're not the only kids. <gasps> Look at it. We just walked in right straight to this this book. But we need specific ones on parents. That's cool though. There's leopards. Get that one, Sophie. We're going to get that one. Okay. Okay, and then you birds. guys. Birds. No wow, birds. that's not meant to be. We just found the birds. Like, we walked in and found the birds. All right, you guys get not books on one, birds. This one's this part. All right, and I'm going to go get the books that I need, okay? Horses. We're looking for parrot Horses. books. Parrots. Horses. Parrots. Horses. Um, one of our subscribers emailed me and recommended this book and we found it super fast. Whenever we find something super fast, I know it's meant to be. So we're excited to read this book. AKA Gabby found it. <laughs> okay, so don't tell them that you're the brains of the operation. Let them. Let me pretend that Mom. it's me. Mom, we need a puppy book. No, we are just getting puppy. the books that we need today. Yeah. So we found yeah, two bird books, but now we're gonna Wait, go search. Whoops. Um, 
we are home from the library. They didn't have any of the books hardly that we wanted. No. Um, anyway, we've been making these little toys for our bird. These are foraging kind of toys. So basically it's a bunch of toilet paper rolls together and then we stuff treats in there. Some almonds and some of his little treats, if you guys can see. He's got most of the ones out of this one. Um, we have a basket here that he sits with us when we do homeschool or he causes destruction in the corner there. <laughs> But yeah, he likes to. He's really quiet when we do reading. When we do reading, he just stands Daddy, there and listens to us. It just needs to be a tad longer. Let's see, what did you make? A bridge. So she made him a bridge. Oh, and he's like, oh, I will get the bridge. You want to put it in its spot? He's like, that's my toy. So a lot of the toys that we already have at home are really good for him. So he chews those and destroys them, shreds them. Oh, he's like, I'll walk on there. Um, in here we have a whole bunch of, in here we have a whole bunch of stuff that he actually really likes. He's got some beads. He's got this little ball that he likes to shred. He's got his red little uh, lid that he likes to play with. He carries that thing around. He's got some baby toys. Uh, like I said, I, I ordered him some new foraging toys. Um, of course, his favorite things to play with are our hair, our glasses, our phones, this camera. Um, if we're eating, yep, he loves that. All right. Storm, did you miss us yesterday or did you enjoy having the day off? That's all from his hoops. That's all from his hoops? It looks like he enjoyed his day off. Were you running around? Oh my or are you running around? My other hoops would not be able to get it out because it has a round edge. The other one has like a square edge. And it got it out perfectly, like you could see. Like it looks like the fairy just came. All I smell is horse poop today. Normally I don't even smell it, but today it's really bothering me. Stella, you had two days off. You got to spray her with bug spray. I see bugs all over her. Stella, you look fatter. Oh no, she puffed out her belly. She puffed out her belly. And she had teeny teeny bit treat. And then yeah. she pulled me towards the grass on the walk up. Did she pull you towards the grass? I love how I'm relaxed like, nope. her lips are. Yeah. She's like, I will eat that. Uh -huh. This is what a horse person looks like. <laughs> Her belly yeah, and her legs, forward. back legs. Yeah. There's a okay. there's a space. Forward. Stella wanted to go, didn't she? When you were cantering her, didn't she like want to keep going? I am wearing like a light sweater and a t-shirt and jeans. Oh, it's so cold. It's so cold. And we're coming at the crack of dawn to ride tomorrow. Where's the crack of dawn? The crack of dawn. 
Gabby, what is with you riding your horse backwards? I always knew you were kind of backwards. Time to close that door though. Holy cow, that door back there. Where's my finger? Back there. Cause it's freezing. Okay, hurry up, you're done. Um, a storm wanted to jump so bad today, didn't he? <laughs> I'll just take you wherever I want. Come on. Right, blue. Handsome man. Okay, there's one thing I don't like about these totes. They're huge. Huge and heavy. But I have been lifting weights, you guys. We are going to clean this whole thing out this weekend. We are bringing this home, our tack trunk, so we can keep it home for the winter because we will not be using it. Whoa, storm, it's supper time. They're like, I know it's supper time. <laughs> what is that? Oh, did Stella have a treat? Carrot, bring a carrot for Stella. Dad, can you wait? Dad's going first because he's slow. All right, there they go. Oh, they're fast. There they go. It's nice when Sam takes them down because he's not always at the barn like I am. You guys, I'm alone at the barn. I'm alone at the barn. Am I alone at the barn? I'm alone at the bar, that's never happened before. Um, I was just talking to a lady, and basically she was telling me, okay, this is ours. <laughs> basically she was telling me that. Um, she has nine kids, nine ages from 24 down to um, two, two and four her youngest ones are. And that's like me, I had like 30 down to nine. And we were just talking about how amazing it is and how um, she feels done now and I said, even though I'm too old now, I've never felt done. Like I, I, I had the grandkids on the weekend. I could have done, like, it was fun. I mean, I didn't do the laundry, but I would have figured that out if they were there all the time. I knew that I'd have time after they left. And I just wanted to spend time with them and build forts with them and hang out with them. And yeah, but yeah, I love big families. And here's the thing, if you have a big family and you love it, then do that. If you have a small family and you love that, then do that. If you never want to have kids, then do that. The most important thing is that you do whatever is best for you. And um, I know I always say that, but it's so true. Like, do you, and here's the thing that you guys don't know that I never ever get a chance to say, because I'm never alone, it's never quiet. But when you do you, this natural thing comes out of you, this natural aura of happiness and acceptance. And as soon as you accept you, Everybody else around you accepts you. It, it, it's, even if you're different than everybody else, if you do you and you say, this is me, I love it, this is who I am, people accept you naturally. So there are so many reasons why you need to just do you and live your life your own way.